Columbia, Jamaica. This video will not be edited. So if any mistake making it, I just that. Alright. It's been weeks, months since every week I'm being featured on this Wanted Wednesday. Yeah? Alright, let me explain myself some. The only reason why I not turn myself to the police is because I shot that boy in a self-defense. You understand? And the gun I used was an illegal gun. The only reason. If it wasn't for that, I would have done turning myself already. You understand? So, the bear the fact say it was an illegal gun, but also holding the fact that I was defending myself. No man never lift up their waist in front of me and feel like they will get to do anything. Regarding if it was a knife, a machete, a gun. You understand? So, simple to say this, I was just defending myself. I don't want the just ever push one narrative like me is a bad man or anything, you see me? Because just putting out a picture and say wanted for shooting and then there is no story behind it. It's very like, look, let me tell you this man. When I see things like this happen and people keep on being featured on this wanted Wednesday thing. But for what? This shooting incident took place almost six years ago. See? But it's still it'll be featured every week and them take this thing for a gimmick. This is people life when I play with here. Yeah? And people have kids and have and family too. And I remember that. You understand? So when you get up, there's a lot of events that take place in a, in a Jamaica. Anthony and this pay attention. Pay attention to your people where I work for you. Pay attention to who you have in a, your in a, your body, in a, your police force. You come from army, you understand. Me's an ex-soldier. You know this. Alright, look. Who the behind of this thing and push it? It's based off a criminal intent, you know. So more on the level in yourself and and look in our own order. And know who a sanction and who a push me being wanted and like I don't want to portray me for be like the most wanted person in Jamaica for what? What me do for well, me do something, but look how much man out there do so much more things. There are more people out there with more them 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 need more attention than me. Why don't I place so much attention to me alone? So you have to look into the politics of this and look who I push it, who the behind of this thing keep on get put out so much. You see me? It would have come like say, I may send them bomb check in a Jamaica or I may have commit them triple murders. You see me? Look how much recently a murder going down there. Yeah? And on a still no name who commit the murder. You understand? I understand how the investigative work. Check on the investigative body. Check on the force. Check on the CIB department. Check who are linked with criminal and other criminal activities. You understand? And stop doing the fuckery. Now, people, apparently or obviously, this man was being featured on Jamaica Most Wanted several times. So this man is saying to himself, then hold well, on a minute. How comes me I get so much spotlight? How comes me I get so much highlights? Yes, me is an ex-soldier. And yes, somebody threatened my life so therefore me have a wheel and pop off. And yes, the toll is illegal. However, there is a difference between bad man and wanted man. Me are not a bad man. Me are not a gun man. Yes. I might have used a tool in an illegal way, which makes it illegal, or an illegal tool used in an illegal farm, which makes it illegal anyway. So I must say, yeah, I might have pie pie up a man because a man has shown me him tool, has shown me him stomach, and I threat my life. So therefore, I use this illegal tool, which I was an ex soldier. I'm a boss one time, and I was charged for illegal possession. And the rest that goes with it. But it does not make me a bad man. I was a part of law enforcement. So therefore the Popo, the JCF, the JDF. They might have taken it more seriously. And make sure say, them take this man off of the street. Because he is trained. So this man has said why is the Popo beating me up? I cannot understand this. I have a life. I have kids. 
Me have wife. So therefore, why you put me in a, a certain light? Why are you painting a certain picture as if I am some sort of illegal person? He may make it seem as if they are taking it personal. Yeah, me know some wanted, but me not that wanted. You have other people who are more wanted for me. So therefore, what is your priority? I am not the most wanted. Maybe I am wanted, but I am not the most wanted. I can be as good as the best of them or as bad as the worst. Me kuna test me. Me kuna highlight me. Me kuna put me up and expose in my life. A K-I-L-L uno wan kill me. Now, based on the rule of law, a man is innocent until proven guilty in the court of law. But when we listen to this man's side of the story, this is not a man that is any sort of a victim. This is a man that was an ex-soldier. Again, don't know the circumstances if it is self-defense. However, if it is self-defense, what this man needed to do is to go in with a lawyer if he can afford one, get some sorts of public attorney or whatever the case is, and deal with the case in a court. Because regardless of the circumstance, the fact that you use some sorts of fire piece that was illegal, the fact that you pipe pie up somebody and got charged for a shooting with intent, the fact that these people keep highlighting you over and over. The fact that you are giving the JCF or the JDF, our armed forces, a bad name. The people them want to get rid of you. It is obvious that there is an agenda to make sure so them either catch you or K-I-L-L you. So therefore, when you come out, people are not going to look at you as any sort of victim. The fact that you pie pie up somebody, you said it yourself, that the tool was illegal. Yes, you claim that it was self-defense. However, nobody knows that. The longer that you stay on the run, the longer that you decide that you don't want to face the courts, these people are going to be relentless. They are going to seek you. They are going to find you and you're going to be lucky if they leave you alive. Based on all that you have said and based on your charges, Presently in other court, point blank and period. Further on in the news, it is called When Will They Learn They Cannot Win? I am speaking about these gangsters that have been creating all sorts of problems all over Jamaica for years. A specific individual, his name is Travis Tommins. He was a part of a very notorious gang called Ski Mask. He then left and he went to Salt Spring, Flower Hill, and there was some sorts of big G-A-N-G feud between the B-L-O-O-D-S and the Wiser's gang. On one occasion, two people were in a cab when they were blazed up. That was a man and his girlfriend. They tried to run out of the vehicle. However, a couple of people with all sorts of tall up run them down, blaze them up in front of a school. It is said that the man that lost his life, he was one of those persons that was a part of those two gangs that I mentioned. He was also wanted for shooting with intent and the takeaway of persons named Mr. Richards and Mr. Parker. A couple of weeks ago, there was a next incident right in front of a school, I think Chetwood, primary school in which this youth and her next youth was in some sort of taxi don't remember if they were going to school or they were leaving school along with an individual that is said to be wanted an ex gang member who was the target about five men with all sorts of tall up rifle blaze up the vehicle after the smoke clear the intended target was gone However, unfortunately, also, two little pitney. I think one was nine, one was seven. Do not quote me on this. It is said that Mr. Travis Tommins was said to be the main suspect in that takeaway gang rivalry that is. He was positively identified after he was found in Barrettown by the Popo Special Operation that is. They took him in and they positively identified him. 
So therefore, he was charged officially. Moral of the story, like I said, if you live by the gun, soon or later, fly high, fly low, you will die by the gun. There is always two destinations and both of them are doomed. It's either the big yard or the graveyard. Point blank and period. Further on in the news, it is called Jamaica is a very sad, sad place. The JCF sometimes, I don't know if they know how to deal with the public. Don't know if. The job just bigger than them. Don't know if they are overwhelmed. Don't know if them feel as if they are given basket to carry water. Being a member of the JCF. A lot of situations that I see displayed on social media in a real life. It shows a lack of professionalism. It shows a lack of manpower. It shows a lack of sympathy. Lack of care, lack of patience. Now, the video I'm speaking about, the Popo apparently, along with Transport Authority, pull over a man in a pro box. Me not know if it's a taxi, illegal taxi or whatever. It seems as if they decided they were going to take him under arrest for some sorts of violation, some sorts of citation. He was in the vehicle with a youth, like a youth look like him about 16, 15, could have been 14, I don't really know. However, apparently, when they were arresting that father, the little boy get upset and try to defend him father. I don't really know the specifics because everything was not caught on video CCTV. So, apparently, to the poor, poor the little boy that a cop. Because obviously, if you see your father getting pushed down, handcuffed, whether he was wrong or not, as a little youth, you're going to want to be defensive. That is your father. Naturally, you're going to feel some sorts of way. So maybe too, the way that the father was acting compounded with the fact that the little boy was kind of getting erratic. Maybe it would be deemed as he is interfering a poor poor duty, like me say. Me can put everything in a context based on that. However, what I saw that I could put into context is the fact that one of these poor poor, at least two of them, held that little boy, fling him down upon the ground, had their foot or them hand upon the little boy. The little boy a beg for water. Obviously, the little boy couldn't handle the two poor poor. Obviously, the little boy was acting up too, truth be told. However, what I saw and the way that they dealt with that little boy, the fact that the father probably drive a taxi, the fact that the father was not from uptown, the fact that the father was being arrested for whatever, maybe it was justified. But I am just saying a lot of times we see these videos on social media in a news in a real life. And we see the difference in treatment with somebody that seems to have money versus somebody that seems to not have so much money in the poorer class of society. I'm just I say, you know, say, if it up now one of them up in the neighborhood, it does not matter. From the poor post to the type of vehicle, I see somebody that look like them can't afford certain things. They are not going to treat them that way. And people like me say, every story, every incident has to be dealt with on a case-by-case -case basis. So maybe that father was wrong. Maybe that little boy was flaring up. However, it does not leave a good taste in your mouth when you see little pitney being pushed upon the ground. Foot or knee or hand are forced them down upon the ground. And them I beg for water. And them I say I'm a father that I'm a father of me from the mother left me. People, me just I say, be a little more sympathetic. Know how to handle situation. Be trained. The JCF is not properly trained to handle certain situation. And sometimes it comes off very, very bad. It does not look good. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, 
Thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like this, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. Bless up.